Hi everyone, I'm here for your Fun Friday choice for a read aloud. You guys picked How to Trap a Leprechaun. The book was written by Sue Fleiss and illustrated by Emma Randall. The book is published by Scholastic Books. How to Trap a Leprechaun. Legend tells of tiny elves who visit once a year. They'll steal your treasures for themselves, then quickly disappear. I didn't know they stole our treasures. Now I know where all my missing stuff is. If you catch a leprechaun, he'll grant a wish, I'm told. But if he gets away too bad, no wish, no luck, no gold. Poof! Small and full of trickery, they'll fool you if they can. Catching one takes smarts and skill, but most of all, a plan. The night before St. Patrick's Day, the leprechauns appear. If you wish to capture one, you'll need the proper gear. First, you'll need to build a trap, one he can't escape. Grab a box, a bottle cap, some glitter, glue, and tape. Use gold paint to coat the rocks. He will think they're real. Scatter them inside the box, and he will come to steal. Pour some glue inside the box and build a rainbow slide. He'll take a ride to find the gold, but find he's stuck inside. Leprechauns come out at night so they can sneak around. Now close the drapes and dim the light and wait without a sound. Did you hear that? Quickly check your snare. Crinkle, snap. Shucks, he just escaped the trap. He could be anywhere. Poof. Look at this, he left his shoe, and in the shoe a note, tiny words addressed to you, and this is what he wrote. I wonder what it is. Dear children, thanks for the glitter and shiny gold rocks, but I can't be trapped by a cardboard box. Your tricks were quite clever, your trap was so great, but it takes more than rainbows to seal my fate. Signed, Liam the Leprechaun. It's a shame he got away, but please don't shed a tear. Go enjoy St. Patrick's Day and try again next year. I'm sorry we didn't get to read this on St. Patrick's Day and we weren't together that day. I do have some Easter books to share with you next week, so I hope you are getting ready for those. Maybe you will design a trap of your own for a leprechaun. You might start planning one for next year. Remember, he said a cardboard box won't trap him, so think about things that you could use instead. I have a couple of leprechauns on my refrigerator. Thank you to my friends who sent me pictures of the leprechauns that you drew. I'm enjoying them and I will look for more. Bye.